Any questions? Coach, I, I know there was you know, high anticipation for Jacoby Brown, you know, mm -hmm. having his first full week of practice with the ones that he was going to perform at a higher level. Mm -hmm. Struggle passing the ball, two interceptions, yep. just breaking everything down. What did you see from Jacoby yesterday? Uh, you know, just coming into the game, you know, it felt like he had a pretty good week of practice. And, um, you know, I think last night, you, what you take back from the game, I think he just got to, he got to settle himself down, play within the offense and, you know, just take advantage of the opportunities that he got. We had some third down opportunities on some balls that we missed that we can't miss. But um, overall, his mindset, you know, he stayed, he tried to stay locked into the game, played through the mistakes. But we definitely, when we look back at that, well, there's some plays out there that he left out that I know he won't bet. Uh, Dylan Risk came in, Gus mm -hmm. said that, tried to look for a spark, you know, yeah. he came in and did obviously led to two touchdown drives. Yeah. What did you see from Dylan and what has he been doing behind the scenes maybe to kind of keep himself prepared for those a situation that could have maybe not happened yeah. depending on what's going on? Well, just starting with last night, I think Dylan did a really good job, you know, just taking advantage of the opportunity that he got. Uh, he came in, he moved the offense, he gave her some energy and um, he did that in a lot of different ways. He hit some passes, he scrambled, picked up some first downs on some key, some really key downs. So we're really proud to see that of him. And um, Dylan, he stayed very, um, you know, steady throughout the whole process. You know, he's a guy that when you look at how the quarterback room has gone, he could be frustrated and not, you know, and just completely mentally take himself out. And he hasn't done that. He's been locked in every single day when the opportunities come for him to get reps. And, you know, he's, he's shown some of those things that we saw yesterday. So it was good to see him get in the game and that be able to, you know, be the case. So, but we're really proud of how he performed when he got out of there. That taunting penalty proved to be kind of a <laughs> point there in that, the, mm -hmm. in that first half. Uh, yep. What's the conversation like with Jakari? Well, number one is, you know, we can't have that. that you know, I backed the offense. I believe we would have been on a nine-yard line and probably like a third and three situation, and we get put in a third and 20. And from, you know, just from the quarterback position, man, like you're a leader of the offense, and, you know, we can't have those kind of penalties at all, let alone from you coming. So that, that really hurt us. It put us in a, in a tough spot, and he knows that it did. And, you know, I don't think that will ever happen again with him. But the tempo that you guys play with, maybe time of possession isn't so, isn't so important, but how important is it to be able to kind of sustain and maintain drives and, and give the defense a little bit of a brief? Oh, it's super important. Um, you want to be able to stay on the field on third down. So for us, you know, we got to do a good job on first and second down, getting ourselves in manageable third down situations. And, you know, in a lot of cases we did uh, yesterday, but, you know, our third downs, we didn't execute. And, you know, put our defense back on the field and sometimes put them in situations that we don't want to put them in. So offensively, we got to own that and do our, do our part of staying on the field and picking those third downs up. I know the plan was for Jacuri to start and just kind of, you know, see how it goes. But beyond that, was there a plan, if it didn't go well, for Dylan to get in there? It didn't seem like EJ was, you know, I think mm -hmm. Coach said last night, trying to still save the red shirt. So mm -hmm. was the plan for Dylan to get in the game last night? Or no, no. Um, you know, we went through the week with Jacuri was, was our guy. Jacuri was our quarterback. And, again, like I said, we had a, he had a really good week of practice. You know, he felt comfortable in the game plan. And, you know, when we get out there last night, you know, there was just, you know, some plays that he didn't make. You know, I think there, you know, there are some things that don't show up on tape that he did do a good job of, of sometimes, you know, getting us in the right calls in certain situations. But just overall, like we said, just hitting, hitting some third down balls was a really important thing that we want to have back. But, uh, but no, that was our plan going in. And I think when things started to go a different direction, we felt like, you know, we wanted to give another guy a chance to kind of get our offense going. And Dylan got his opportunity and did that. Did he practice as the backup, though? Because it seemed like EJ Colson, like he wasn't in the mix to go in there. Well, Dylan always getting he always get reps always with our yeah with our groups throughout the week. Okay. Dylan always get his reps. Uh, Kobe obviously went down mm -hmm. early on in that game. What did you see from some of the other guys? Kobe Jones yeah. had a big performance. You saw mm -hmm. Chauncey get some some more opportunities. What did you see from some of the backups stepping up for Kobe? Yeah, versus? I think I think it was really good, and then, you know we needed to see that. You know, Jacoby's an experienced guy, and you know he's dealt with a lot throughout his career. His season last year ended in a bad injury that he's really used all of the rest of last season after it happened through the time that he's been here to kind of get back comfortable playing. So uh, to see him get the opportunity that he got yesterday and run with him, it really was a testament to the hard work that he's put in. And then Chauncey Mag was another one that got an opportunity to get, you know, uh, balls thrown his way and you know he he did a really good job too so you know it just shows us as an offense man we we have weapons and we just got to do a good job of spreading the ball around and if we can do that when all of our guys are healthy it'll make us that much more dangerous of an offense so that's the mindset going forward going back to the 
going into the season, the talk was about a deep running back room. And mm -hmm. it's however RJ that's really carrying the bulk of things. Yeah. What are the opportunities with some of the other guys? Um, you know, I think we got to get back to that. And we, we will. You know, we've had a couple different things come up over the course of the season. You had, um, you know, Miles went down for for a little while with with an injury, and coming out of training camp, you know, he had done a good job kind of supplanting himself as our second back, and that gave Penny some opportunities and some games to do some things. And then Johnny, you know, how we use him, you know, has been kind of how we've always used him. And then last week he was out, so uh, you know, you just had kind of a, a mixed bag of different things that have happened throughout the course of a season where you haven't seen them all in there like we did probably the first two weeks of the season. But we definitely, now that we have all those guys back and healthy and in the lineup, we definitely have to get back to using them all to the best of their abilities. Was Penny a health issue? Or uh, it's, you know, there are times it have been, but it also it's about, you know, what we put on guys. We're always trying to put them in the best situations to be successful with just, you know, using them in ways that they can best, you know, show their best and that they can best help us. So, you know, Penny's been a little bit of that. We, you know, put a lot on, we put a lot on our running backs and we want to make sure when we put them out there, they can handle everything that we're asking them to do. Having said, having said a lot, how, how significant is it for RJ to hit the thousand yard mark and then kind of set set that set the benchmark for UCF running backs in, in this program's history? Yeah, I think I think that's that's really great, you know, for RJ, man. I'm really proud of him and just the development he showed over the course of his career. And I'm sure, you know, for him, he's you know he's excited about that. But I think more than anything, even if you ask him right now, if us getting you know a, a win and in, in, in that's probably more important than any of that in his eyes, because you watch him at the these last couple performances. All those numbers would look good, but he's probably hurt more than anybody. So, you know, these guys are about winning, but I definitely think, you know, from a coach's perspective, when you can see one of your guys getting better from, you know, week to week, and in his case, from year to year to accomplish what he's accomplished, you're definitely proud of just, you know, what he's been able to do here. I know it's, it's Coach Mazan's decision on who's going to start a quarterback mm -hmm. going forward. With that being said, with the way Dylan was able to end the mm -hmm. game with his performance and put it on tape, what he can do right. against another team, does that change the outlook going into this week when you get together as a staff and you talk about what the plan's going to be? Yeah, absolutely. I think when you know when the way that Dylan finished that game last night, the way that he moved the offense, I definitely think you know. Well, I, de I know that those conversations are being had by us right now, just of how we're looking at things moving forward. And coach will be able to get more in depth about that. But it's you know it's pretty obvious that Dylan did a good job to put himself in position to show that he can move this offense. Tim, you've been around football for a while. Have you, have you ever seen a situation like this with quarterback mm -hmm. where you, if, if Dylan were to start, I mean, that'd be four quarterbacks yeah. in the season. I mean, that's, I mean, have you ever been through anything like that before? Uh, I, don't, I don't think I have. I don't think I have. But um, at the end of the day, man, you're always trying to find, you know, what's going to help you, what's going to help give you the best chance to win. And unfortunately, you know, fortunately and unfortunately, I guess in some ways that we're still, you know, in a way, and we got enough guys that we do feel comfortable at times that can get that job done. So, um, you know, this week we'll, we'll attack it with the idea of giving these guys an opportunity and, you know, we'll see where it goes. Players uh, seem to be saying that they feel like they're close to breaking through. What do you think is holding the team back from doing that? Um, I just think, you know, you when when you're in a situation like this, the biggest thing for our guys, is I, I do agree that we are close. And, you know, what we have to do is we have to really, you know, zoom in on all the details of what we do, you know, because you go back and watch films and, you know, the day after the game and, you know, certain things are showing up. And a lot of times, you know, you can look at it from a coach's perspective, you're always going to take the heat. It's a coaching, it's a coaching thing. You know, you, you either coaching it or you're, allow, you're, you're coaching it or you're allowing it. One of those two things. So, um, you know, we got to do a better job of making sure that we're detailed in our work and how we're coaching our guys that those little, those small things that are holding us back, we tighten those areas up. And um, we got to do that. We got to do that in a hurry. But I'm, I'm really happy that our players are still believing that we're close because that's, that's what you have to do. That's half the battle in getting things turned around. And as long as they feel that way, we have a chance. And, you know, and we'll get that done. I know it's early in the week, but Arizona, what do you know about those guys? Um, just what, we, what we've seen on tape so far, talent, talented group, like all the teams in our conference, you know, they have good players and they're flying around. You know, I just watched them against uh, West Virginia and they did some good things in that game. And I'm uh, going to go back when, when I'm finished over here and watch them dig in a little bit more. But definitely going to be a challenge for us. And um, I'm excited for our guys to get the opportunity to go out and turn this thing around. All right. Thanks, Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thanks.